put on video kicking a cat, and it went viral, helping police make an arrest. Today, Trevante Mitchell pleaded guilty to animal cruelty. A judge has ordered an investigation into... Raising a family in a world of rock, ice, and water is a tale of resilience, strength, and courage. For to be born to the north is to be born to the storm. Here, in the lands of the north. Here, in the realms of the stormborn. Seabird says last week, two customers walked in. It was a young lady with a backpack, approximately a high school student age, maybe a little bit older, and an older gentleman that was with her. Surveillance pictures show the woman and man stealing a baby bird like this one. I believe he was actually on the middle stand. They also noticed three bearded dragons disappeared. Over the three bearded dragons he took were approximately this size. Sieberts believes they put the animals in a backpack before heading out. I don't want to think bad about people. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Six years ago, Sieberts opened the store <laughs> with the hope of sharing her love for animals. Hey, Who would want to steal animals? <laughs> She also takes pride in letting people touch. You want to hold it? Keeping most of the birds out in the open, something she doesn't want to change. There you go. You want me to get him? <laughs> I want to still believe in people, but I am watching a little bit closer. Um, I don't want to see anything happen. I don't want to have to feel like I've got to put my, my babies behind a cage. Seabird says it's a shame all the way around. It's their baby. But most of all, she hopes the animals taken are okay. God, I hope that the, that the animals get returned safe and sound. Sieverts tells me they're no longer allowing backpacks and big bags into the store. Staff is also watching customers closer these days, something they wish they didn't have to do.